I'm Julie Jarman of the Newcastle Cloggies. Some years ago, a few of us formed the InStep research team in order to collect and preserve traditional steps before they were lost along with the people that knew them. One example of a dancer who has some unique and very interesting steps is Mrs. Marhoff, who comes from Silksworth near Sunderland. Mrs. Marhoff was born in the early years of the century and at the age of 10 was taught to dance by her grandfather, who was 70, who originally came from Lancashire. Mrs. Marhoff is able to demonstrate some of her steps and we felt that you would be interested in seeing them. So we took a camera recorder round to Mrs. Marhoff's house to record her thoughts and steps for posterity. When I was a little girl, we were doing country dancing, rusty dusty. And uh, apparently I shone <laughs> that uh, the headmaster went to mum and dad and said that I was a good dancer and he thought I could, should learn. But already knowing that grandfather was had been a yes. champion club dancer. Yes. And how old would you have been at that when you uh, started? Then, then I was only yes. seven. Yes, I was only seven. But I didn't start until later because I had an operation and they thought it would strengthen my leg muscles and that's how I really started dancing and we asked grandfather if he would teach me. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah, it was your grandfather that taught you? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, yes. And nobody else could teach me. He was a champion. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I went once a week, paid a shilling, <laughs> <laughs> shilling a week for lessons. And uh, I'd be about, oh, just over ten, I think. Mm -hmm. And I used to do, I started on the breadboard, my hand on the table. At his house, that would have been. Oh yeah, oh yes, yes, yes. And where, where was your grandfather from? Oh. Well, we always thought he came from Wales, but it's only recently that uh, one of the relatives has been doing the family tree. And discovered he was born in uh, Rigby's yard, cotton yard, schools, Wigan, Lancaster. So. I don't know whether he learned there, I suppose he must have done, or and about a different part of the country, but he was the Pittman's champion at one point, and he taught other people because Mum used to have a photograph of Grandfather with a young man who was wearing the belt, so he must have taught him, but I don't know, that disappeared when Mum got rid of everything. And uh, how old would he be when he moved to the northeast from Lancashire? Oh, well, I don't know, but he was married at 21, and that was from with someone from Rio. So I don't know when he came from Lancashire. Don't know much about that part of his life. And did anybody else from your family learn? Or was it just you? Oh no, Dad learnt. Um, Dad did it started just after I started. And he learnt oh quite a lot of different steps. Uh, Tom pipe. Right. Well okay. the first so steps, yes. which were the sailors' hornpipe. Yes. Single hornpipe steps. Hornpipe. Yes. And they're all done on each all my steps are all done on each side. Right? Yes. And uh, when, I, when I first learned them, Grandad used to just count, because we had no music. So it was one, two, three, four, five, six, 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 seven. And the shuffles are always straightforward. Yes, yes. Yeah. Right, so if you are you going to dance them through for us? Yes, I'll show you how to do them. Right.
to put the other I think I'll have to put the other clothes on for the rest then. <laughs> comedy steps. Drop, hop, and hop, drop, or hop, drop, <laughs> hop, drop. Right? <laughs> oh, I'll let um, <laughs> Julie, come on, you do it. Right, you okay. do it, and do your, do my, my break with it. Your break. You do my break with it. Right, okay. Right. <laughs> Julie, perhaps you'd like to do the Dutch steps. These were steps that my granddad said were fun steps. And they make very good uh, showing dressed up as a Dutch doll, wound up, mechanical, uh, for little shows.
first half of our video, we have heard Mrs. Mahoff tell us about how she learned to dance. In the second half, she demonstrates more of her steps and tells us about some of her performances. Now I'll show you my steps. These are the ones that Grandfather taught me specially. And they've always been my steps. Viona Wynne's steps. And this is why I'm rather particular about the people I teach them to. Because in one instance, I taught them and they were destroyed. They didn't, they were not any longer my steps. So now I choose the people I want to do those steps. performed after the first three steps in the single hornpipes because you could only learn three first because that fourth one is a, a difficult step right and um, the people at the local cinema the hippodrome if as we knew it um, I was asked to do my three steps so I have a beautiful dress made of beans little tot and danced me three steps at the hip. So that was the first performance. And after that, well, it was quite a time. I did dance on the Sunday Empire. Was that a, a competition or? A talent contest. Katie's Court Circus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was, instead of dressed, I should really have been dressed as the, like the shoeshine boy in this picture. Yeah. Hi. And uh, I wasn't. My mother had a, a white silk dress made for me. Oh, absolutely hopeless. <laughs> uh, but I danced on the Sunderland Empire and enjoyed it, but realised then as a little girl, I wasn't. Uh, I would I love the 
the stage, but I wouldn't have been, I wasn't old enough, mature enough to care for myself, not. I didn't bother anymore about stage work, not then. Um, did you dance the shoe shine in the mission hall in time? Oh yes, oh yes, that was a church concert, and uh, I did a little play in that, and oh, it was quite nice, and uh, I enjoyed this. I suppose you want me to sing that song. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh dear me. Yeah. Oh dear. Um, have the shine, sir. Clean your boots, sir. Have the shine, sir. On the block I plant the dirty boot and the trousers of my turn. And I scrub away till the cold dead foot into life begins to burn. Okay. <laughs> and then you would dance. Yes, oh yes. Which standard dance? Which and step? my steps. Yes. My steps. Yes, yes. I didn't uh, uh, only perform the others for, as it were for fun, as it were. Yes. Lots of fun steps, Grandad told me. Like the Dutch step. Oh, yes, yes, and bits and pieces, but they, later on, I realized that they led up to the more complicated steps. He always gave me something that was a beginning, a building up, and which I think, if you're going to teach children or pass them on, you have to give them the bits and know what you're doing. Oh no, 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 grandfather, I never actually saw him stand and dance, he taught me sitting on a stool, and so I never saw, actually saw him perform, uh, I can't remember really much about being taught, just certain things, um, Lily of Laguna was was a moving one because it was connected with um, G. H. Eliot's, the chocolate coloured coons type of dancing. And it could be done with clogs or soft shoes or sand dancing. That's Grandad. Hi. Hi. It's a nice photograph. The grand old man. I love my granddad. He did write a play that he, I suppose, he, in his mind, he thought he was like me now. I think I can do it because I think I feel young. But uh, he wrote a play for me. It's atrocious, really. <laughs> but he finishes off <laughs> with saying, this is a chance, of course, the, for my granddad to show what he could do. But he never did them in front of me. Mm -hmm. But he was going to give me an exhibition of all these dancers who were famous at that time. Uh, there's Robson in his Lancashire Twiddles, Ted Trainer, Double Beats, Walter Monovan in Gigs, or Jigs, Ashcroft in his Funny Tips, Jim Aslam in his Back Tap, and Dan Lino in his mm. Back Heel Work. Dan Lino, yeah. And those are the those are the famous names of, of that era. And he would have been able to dance. He like did all of them. Yes. He could do all those steps. Yes. But I never saw him actually do them. But Dad did some of them, you see. And I was given the early ones. It's time I yeah, yeah, did the La Laguna steps. Oh, great. Just as much as a, well, as much as I can do. Oh, dear me, I feel old.
You'll have to deputise for me. Well, <laughs> I don't want this chair here, you, do you? So I'll take it away. for me. <laughs> oh, now I've left these to last because they are the most difficult steps to do. I learned them earlier, but they really are difficult. And Alice has always done them very well.
And now to finish up, I would like to thank Alice and Julie because they have been coming for lessons for nearly two years and they've given me a great deal of joy in doing my dancing. Thank you. Thank you, girls.